27 pharmaceuticals and unable to go to the bathroom by myself to within three months being able to go back to work full time. After the mother of two says weed worked wonders, her cause for cannabis was ignited. When I decided. All right, we are following breaking news at this moment. We are following the pursuit that is now in Ontario. Let's go up to Tim Lynn in Sky 5. Tim? Well, this is a wild pursuit. This has been going on for just about a half an hour here. West Covina PD is in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. You see it right there. Just turned uh, back westbound here. Uh, going over Center Dividers, wrong side of the street, and just really flying along. Uh, they got the L.A. County Sheriff's Department overhead. And uh, they have been going on the wrong side of the street, really causing a lot of issues out here on the road. But it, they're talking about spike stripping now, but uh, we don't know if that's going to happen at this speed. But still continuing on here, very high rate of speed. We're coming back into uh, the Pomona area, back to the west. Wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road here. Continuing on, coming up to the intersection, then a right turn, right? Or actually, left turn, left turn. And they're going to make a turn back up around the corner here. He'll come out behind those trees. Now this road will uh, swing back around uh, towards us here as he comes along and just kind of sweeps around. He's been running in this area back and forth between the 210 and the 10 here for about the last uh, 20, 25 minutes, uh, really at a high rate of speed, uh, zipping through traffic. You saw him go on the wrong side of the street at that point. Now through there, they got cross traffic for the officers. They're on the brakes hard. He's through the intersection, continuing on. But a stolen vehicle out of West Covina, and it's come all the way over here to the, uh, uh, over by the uh, Brackett Airport area out of West Covina, continuing back and forth between uh, the 210 and the 10 freeway. Now we're heading down south here. I'll get the name of the street for you in a second, but in Center Divider really at a high rate of speed uh, coming up to the next intersection here. He's got slow traffic out of him, brown that traffic. Uh, and he's going to have more traffic ahead as he has to take the wrong side of the street to get around it, zipping around, turning in front of that big rig right up over the sidewalk into the front yard, now turning back out to the west. Made that maneuver there to get around the front of that uh, big rig, uh, kind of cutting off the officers as he does. Now he's in a residential area, come up to a teener, or it's intersection. You see the sheriff's helicopter right there. We're continuing south there through this residential track. A lot of uh, trees in this area. Next intersection here, cross traffic. Oh, right in front of that car there as he makes the turn back to the uh, south. Another down an alley now, working his way through an alley, just kind of weaving his way around here. It's uh, really a dangerous high-speed pursuit through this neighborhood. And now at about 340, you're going to have a lot of folks out on foot as well. No, just missed that car as he came out of that alley up to the next intersection. Big turn here, oh spinning through the intersection out to the center divider. So, man. This guy is flying in this stolen car, coming down the wrong side of the street, uh, through the left turn pocket, pushing his way. Fender started about 45 minutes ago, and we've been above now on Sky 5. Tim Lynn is in Sky 5 for us. This was a stolen vehicle out of West Covina, right? So maybe Tim can't hear us right now, but we were being told earlier by our producers, and I think Tim did mention that the stolen vehicle was out of West Covina. We are assuming there is one driver inside. The, the vehicle does have tinted windows, so uh, a lot of times we're able to see what's going on inside, but in this particular case, um, there are tinted windows. Originally, when we got information about this pursuit, West Covina police were, Covina police were in pursuit of this uh, vehicle, and that's what we are assuming is they are the department behind this. Tim? Yeah, you can see right here he's still continuing down the uh, westbound here uh, through the intersections, splitting through traffic there as we continue on and really just ripping along. And uh, as you can see, him just coming up to more inter more traffic here, kind of going on the wrong side of the street. Yeah, West Covina has been on this thing for, uh, like I said, since about 5... Uh, 15, or excuse me, about 315 as we uh, continue through here. We're oh, coming up on cross traffic here, just going through uh, San Dimas there and uh, continuing on westbound here, very high rate of speed. A uh, long line of police cars behind him as we continue through here. It's uh, really been a real wild pursuit as we uh, move along here. This is now just north of uh, Pudding Stone Lake as uh, we continue along. It's been a very, very wild pursuit, wrong side of the street. And we're coming up here. We we'll may be coming to an end here in a second. We'll see what's going to happen through this intersection. High rate of speed, uh, putting out uh, a lot of speed through those intersections. Coming up on cross traffic and mm. sore traffic. They're getting out of the way for them and really just keeping it as well as they can. Now coming up to the next, next intersection. As we go through that intersection, high rate of speed. And uh, continuing here, uh, going on the wrong side of the street. 
as we go through. Oh, and he's back to the right side. Yeah, this thing is just really, really fast uh, going along. And we'll get the name of the street here for you in a second. They're trying to pick it up off. Pick it, pick it. It just turned off a cataract here, turning north. And he's turned north now, kind Tim, of spun it there just for a second. Tim, it looks like there's a pass. We are above this chase um, in Ontario, but uh, we're having some issues with uh, our actually, connection. Pomona. Tim Link, can you hear us now? Yeah, Lou, I can. We're just a lot of air traffic up here. We're in brackets airspace, so we're dealing with that as well. We're still in the uh, east side of uh, Pomona here, probably working our way over towards uh, Claremont area. Uh, continuing here, it. And uh, we continue on, to, and uh, we just heard on the police frequency that the sun is despondent and depressed, so we might have a mental issue here. Big turn there, left turn, turn back to the north here. This is taking us up towards the 210. Tim, and so, what, what did you say you heard? The, go ahead. What did you say you heard? Well, we're hearing from the, I'm hearing on the scanner and from the police that it's, it's somebody, uh, they said it's a, their son. Uh, stand by, we're trying to get the information, Lou. What is that? Okay, while well, Tim gets that okay. information, if you're just joining us, we are following a pursuit. This is in Pomona now. Um, it was just now uh, a few minutes ago in Ontario. Started in West Covino of a stolen vehicle. Um, tons of uh, cop cars behind this vehicle. It's been driving at high rates of speed. And we originally thought there was one person in the car, but now we're being told that there are two people. And unconfirmed reports we're hearing a son is despondent, but we're not sure if that's the driver or if that's the passenger in the car. And as you you can see here the car driving at high rates of speeds, going through intersections, blowing through red lights, jumping over sidewalks, and even going the opposite direction on some roads. Yeah, which is interesting. If uh, we kind of get a little bit of information that somebody's you know depressed or despondent, which is certainly the actions don't show this. And then again, there is somebody, as you said, in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. So you kind of kind of wonder what the conversation is going on between us. Yeah, it's frustrating because well, we keep losing the picture here, but we they're in um, it it's a power. really heavy um, airspace there, a lot of traffic in the air. So just be patient with us here. But we are following this pursuit that started in West Covina about 3:15 this afternoon, and now oh. we're dealing with pedestrians on the street. This guy's going through uh, tons of intersections. At least he's staying on the right side of the street now, but he's been driving at high rates of speed. He does have a passenger in the car. Um, we've seen him run red lights, um, taking hard turns, and the police have been really good about being able to stay close to him because he's been driving extremely fast. Well, I'm sure that, you know, that one black and white SUV's done a good job of staying mm -hmm. behind him, but, uh, you know, they, if, if he does lose and there's enough other officers, I'm sure right yeah. now there are several jurisdictions out there because these towns in that area, Pomona, Laverne, Claremont, they're not really, the towns are really not that big, so he's going to blow through several different towns here. We, you know, he's also been to Ontario, and this all started in West Covina. 210. And it looks like now he is now getting Five, on the freeway, on the and I believe Tim Lynn, he's now on the 210, correct? Yeah, 210 freeway, continuing now westbound away from the 57. And now this is going to change the dynamic of this pursuit quite a bit. It keeps it from having that cross traffic and, and the... Uh, and the pedestrians and things of that sort, but now we have speeds and weaving, and once you get those high rates of speed, it's going to be an issue with him spinning out, losing control. Now he's holding that uh, right lane now all the way back over to the number one, and with him whipping around like that, uh, there's very easily for him to lose lose control mm -hmm. of the, uh, the car as he slams through those, and then once he starts that spinning, uh, you never know what's going to happen here. So, uh, you know, we just have to keep an idea uh, keep an idea with him going this fast. We're really going along here. I'm clocking him probably at about a hundred miles an hour right now in Sky 5 as we continue now uh, westbound 210 coming up to the next big intersection will be Azusa. You see him just kind of slide between the big rigs and the other vehicles kind of cook, cooking along here and uh, you're saying there's two folks inside there. I'm looking in there. Yeah, I see a passenger now uh, in, that, in that passenger seat and of course the driver uh, you know, it's really tough for us sometimes to see what's going on here with, uh, you know, with the people in the car from the altitudes that we have to keep it. Now, L.A. County Sheriff's is down below it in their helicopter as well. So uh, it's a, you know, it's, we have to kind of keep, uh, keep separation from them. So, yeah, continuing on. Now the spike strip issue is completely out of question, mm -hmm. and he's way too fast for a pit maneuver. So he's just flying right along. You see that person right there. Does that look like a female or? 
I, I can't. It kind of almost looks like a female. It almost looks like a female, yep. and I feel like there might be someone in the back seat as well. But yeah, yeah and she's motioning well, like big motions animated. and very animated, as if she's arguing with him or her, or if you know, just helping out. But. This driver's not, I mean, he's a good driver in that he's able to work, swerve in and out, but he's very jerky, and I, that's where the fear of comes up, where he, there's a possibility that he could flip this vehicle, especially going 100-plus miles per hour, well, right, Tim? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, it doesn't take much to lose control of the vehicle at that speed. You know, as he just continues through, he kind of weaves his way through the, through, the inter, uh, through the cars, and then, you know, once he gets a little bit sideways, uh, it'll go around on him. There's not a darn thing he can do about mm -hmm. it. And uh, then he's going to be out of control sliding, but he's really just screaming along here. Yet, passing people on the road. Okay, we've lost our signal, Lynn. Uh, again, it says Glendore, but I can tell you at that speed, he's past Glendore at this point. Mm. The next town on the 210 would be Azusa and, uh, and then Bradbury. Oh, However, he had an option where he could take the 605 south. And it looks like he's, well, he's getting back on surface here. Tim, where are we now? Uh, we just bailed off the freeway. Looks like we're maybe Azusa here. I'm gonna, we're off at Azusa, off at Azusa. He's off the freeway here, and we'll see which way it goes from there. Mm. And uh, here he comes down south through the uh, residential track. Boom! Oh. Right oh. in there. Looks like somebody in the left rear. Everybody's bailing three out people. now, running. Just really, yeah, three people in the car, just really cooking along. Yeah, the sheriff's department's overhead, giving uh, information on where they're at. And then you see them all running. They're going to pick the uh, driver. Number one is who they're going to go after. Because, uh, and Fi's got both of you guys. I'll step to the north. You can see the guy just cooking right along. Uh, Photog Chris Houck staying with the driver. And I'm sure the sheriff's department is keeping an eye on him as well, uh, trying to direct the units. This shouldn't take too long. He just threw something out of his pocket. It looked like there. And here he comes to a fence. Going to start a jaw. Oh, too late. Oh, Cops caught up. up with Smart. him. Not going to take him into custody. He just threw something else down there. You can see it. And his hand down on his knees, got his hands up. Uh, we got a tree between us and the officers. That's why you can't see them. But uh, they've they've caught up with him now. He's giving up. So down on his face. So now they'll slowly come up to him and uh, take him into custody. But mm -hmm. they're going to make sure that uh, he doesn't do anything silly uh, at this point. All he needs to do now is cooperate with the officers. They're being very very cautious, very calm with this. And they're going to slowly work their way up to uh, this guy on the ground. The other, they're also trying to chase down. Okay, again, we are having a problem with our signal. Um, again, it looks like this, this pursuit has come to an end. There were three people inside the car. Uh, this is the driver. As you see, he is spread-eagled, face down in the dirt. Uh, now he just crosses his legs there. There are, uh, looks like, three officers, uh, four officers around him. Right. Uh, he's now being handcuffed. Uh, question is, though, what about the, uh, the two passengers that were in the car? And I'm pretty sure that... They are probably apprehended them or are probably pretty close to it. Yeah, it looked like two males and a female jumping out of that car after they hit the telephone pole. And as he was running, it looked like maybe he threw his cell phone. It landed in the back of that pickup truck. And then he did the right thing and decided to surrender. Well, either threw a cell phone or maybe he had something illegal on yeah, it. Yeah, so, uh, true. You know, it could have been drugs or something else. All right, if you've been watching with us, uh, we've been on this since um, almost uh, 45 minutes now, a pursuit that started in uh, West Covina, a stolen vehicle, but it looks like it has come to a safe ending thank goodness because this guy was driving super erratically through uh, residential streets and on the freeway so yeah he and his oh. uh, he and his uh, two friends are uh, yeah. definitely headed for the pokey at this point. yeah don't have a nice night tonight no. <laughs> okay so again uh, this pursuit started uh, the first word we got of it a stolen vehicle uh, they were on the 57 freeway in West Covina when we picked it up the pursuit uh, was on surface streets in Ontario uh, kind of, as Tim Lynn pointed out, kind of driving in circles. Uh, mm -hmm. At one point, we were in Pomona, the Claremont Laverne area. He got on the 210 freeway, started heading west, exited the 210 freeway in Azusa, uh, drove on a couple of surface streets, made a couple of turns, uh, kind of put on the brakes and slammed into what looked like a utility pole. Yeah. And that's where the uh, three people jumped out of the car, the stolen vehicle. And uh, started running, and pretty soon they separated in three different directions. Immediately they Immediately, separated. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's uh, Lynn and Sky 5, we stayed centered on uh, the man you're seeing here that is being checked out, and he's handcuffed, and they're getting ready to mm -hmm. put him in the back of the black and white unit. Uh, and we assume that uh, the other two suspects, uh, who were also on the run on foot, uh, have probably been apprehended at this point, or probably will be pretty soon. And Tim Lynn, what, do you have anything you were going to say something? 
Yeah, I was going to say the uh, other media helicopters in the area stuck with the uh, uh, other uh, other person that mm -hmm. they are starting to take him into custody now and i'm trying to look out my window so we'll right. keep an eye on this and bring it to you uh when we complete all right tim lynn thank you so much and thank you for sticking around with us uh, more news starting at six o'clock